Next up, we have the connections object, which defines connections between two or more parts or bodies. So let's go and click on the connections object right here. And now we can see something called details of connections. Now the subcategory is called auto detection. So this means that ANSYS will automatically detect connections by default. So if two objects are very close together, ANSYS will go ahead and create a group here, which is called contacts. And inside this group, you can see that it will create a bunch of contact regions. Now if we select this first region, we can see the contact that ANSYS created for us automatically. The contact is between the face of the base and the target is the bottom face of the lifting lug. So you can see here that it brings up a body view, which on the right you have the contact body view and at the bottom here we have the target body view. So in each one of these views you can rotate to see exactly where it's highlighted. So in red is the base and blue is the lifting lug. So you can see here that this is the contact between the base and the base of the lifting lug. And the contact type here in the definition is bonded. Bonded means that ANSYS will join the nodes together and will not allow any movement between them. Now as you can see we have other ones here which are called no separation, frictionless, rough, frictional, and forced frictional sliding. However the important ones to note are bonded, frictionless which means that there will be no friction between the surface and frictional where if you would select this you can go ahead and apply a friction coefficient between the two. So let's go ahead and enter a friction coefficient of 0.2 for this example. Now once you change the definition of the contact, ANSYS will automatically rename this to frictional, which is the type, and then base to lifting lug, which are the contact and target body surfaces. Now there are more contact settings such as advanced and geometric modifications, however we will not cover them in this tutorial. Now let's say you want to change the default contact settings for ANSYS, and let's say you didn't want ANSYS to automatically import all these connections, you can go ahead into the tools menu and then click on options and then under mechanical you can see a tab called connections and in connections we have different things such as let's say the tolerance slider for the tolerance detection between the two surfaces and then whether or not let's say you were including face to face surfaces face to edge surfaces etc and as you can see here the default type now is bonded so that's why all of these contact regions are bonded by default. So if you were to change this, this would change the settings in mechanical so all future connections will always be as you defined here. But now that we're in the project and we let's say we wanted to remove this default contact group, we can right click on it and then click on delete and then click on yes. So now as you can see we have no more connections that are created. Now let's say we wanted to create our own manual contact region, we can right click on connections, click on insert, and then click on manual contact region. After clicking on this, we can see that the details require two options. We need the contact and the target surface. So let's click on the contact surface, and using the face filter button, we'll click on this surface right here. Next we'll click on the apply button here. So now that selected the base as the contact surface. Now we want to select the base of the lifting lug as a target surface. But as you can see here, we can't really see it right now. So what we're going to do is, using the body select filter, we can click on the base, right click, and then click on hide body. Now you can see we have access to clicking on this bottom face. So using the face filter, we'll click on this face, and then click on the target, and then click on apply. Next we can right click in the window and click on show all bodies. So now we have both bodies here selected and we can see we now manually created a contact region. Now in the definition type, as again you can see that the default is bonded. Now this would be a long process to do for each one, so in our case the automatic connections that ANSYS created for us are actually very useful. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this contact group by right clicking and clicking on the delete button, clicking on yes, we're going to right click on connections, insert a connection group, and inside the connection group we can right click on it and then click on create automatic connections. So this will recreate all the connections that we just deleted previously. So now let's actually define each one of these connections correctly. Let's click on the first one again. We know that this is from the base to the bottom of the lifting lug and we want it to be frictional with a friction coefficient of 0.2. Next we'll click on contact region number 2 we can see that this contact is between the face of the bolt 
and the interface of the base. Now for this tutorial, we're going to leave this as the default type, which is bonded. We want to actually have this bonded to the base. Next, we're going to click on contact region number three, and we can see that this is the same thing as contact number two. We would like to keep this bonded. Number four is as well, it's the bolt to the base, and number five is the same thing. Now what we can do to better organize this is actually hold the control key and selecting contact regions number two, three, four, and five, we can right click and click on this group here which will create a new contact group for us. And we can call this bolts to base. Next we can go ahead and click on contact region number six. We can see that this is the surface between the bolt and the lifting lugs base plate. In this region we're going to go and change the type of this definition from bonded to frictionless because we want to allow sliding in this region. Now in contact region number seven we can see that this is the bottom part of the bolt head touching the top surface of the lifting lug. We're going to want to keep this the default bonded value. Next let's move on to contact region number eight. We can see that this is the same thing as the contact region number six that we changed. We want to change this again to frictionless. Contact region number nine once again the bolt head to the lifting lug, bonded. Number 10, we're going to change this to frictionless. Number 11, we're going to keep it bonded. And number 12, frictionless. And finally, contact number 13, we're going to keep that bonded as well. Next, we can group these up again. We can click on these frictionless contacts here, holding the control key, right clicking, and creating a new group. Now, we'll call this group frictionless. Next we can click on these four holding the control key, right clicking, creating a new group, and call this bolt to lifting lug. Now we've organized all our connection groups. So let's go through them once more just to make sure. The first one is the base to the lifting lug. The next are all the bolts to the base. Next are the lifting lugs to the bolts which are the frictionless connections. And the last one is the bolts to the lifting lugs, which are the bonded connections. Now that our connections are done, we can go ahead and minimize this object and proceed on with the mesh.